You get this test every year, your cholesterol panel, but do you actually know what those numbers mean? I'm Dr. Simi Lee, I'm a cardiologist and the founder of Systole Health, and this is day 29 of our 30 Days of Heart Health series. Let's break down your lipid panel. First up is total cholesterol, which patients come to me talking about first all the time. It's really just the sum of your HDL, LDL, and 20% of your triglycerides. We love to see it under 200, but this number alone really is not the full story. Next thing is LDL cholesterol, or the bad cholesterol that gets into our arteries and causes plaques. Here, the lower the LDL, the better. For most people, that means that we like to see them under 100. If you have heart disease or equivalent risk, we like to see it under 70. And if you're very high risk, you've had multiple heart attacks or stents or bypass surgery, we like to see it under 55. Remember that no matter who you are, the lower the LDL, the lower your risk of heart disease, and there's absolutely no threshold at which that benefit stops being true. Next up is HDL, or the good cholesterol, because of its anti-inflammatory properties. What we know is that when HDL is low, under 40, risk increases, but it actually also increases when HDL is very high, over 80, for example. We don't actually treat to HDL targets, it's really more about the overall pattern and factoring that into someone's risk assessment. Speaking of HDL, what about non-HDL cholesterol? This is total cholesterol minus HDL and captures all the bad particles like LDL, but also VLDL, IDL, remnants, and lipoprotein protein little a. It's actually a stronger predictor of heart disease risk than LDL alone and doesn't require fasting. Finally, triglycerides. These reflect extra calories and simple carbs. Basically, we like to see this under 150. You might be wondering what you can do about this outside of meds, and here's some lifestyle tips to help you out. First, plant-based, heart-healthy diet can lower your LDL and your triglycerides. Regular movement lowers your triglycerides and increases HDL. Moderating substances like alcohol and smoking helps improve your triglycerides and your overall vascular health. So the next time you see your results, don't just glance at the total. Know your LDL, HDL, triglycerides, and non-HDL cholesterol, because understanding your numbers is the first step to protecting your heart. If you want all 30 tips like this one in one place, download the free Heart Health Survival Guide through the link in my bio. And if you're ready to go deeper for more support, join our next Women's Heart Health groups. They're small physician-led and designed to help you turn your numbers into action. We have a lot of groups launching in the next month. Otherwise, follow along to keep learning more about heart health.